know when working in Cubase, if you're creating any events, editing MIDI, editing audio, or duplicating tracks, and you want to undo what you've just done, then you would press Ctrl and Z. If you want to redo what you've just undone, then you would press Ctrl, Shift and Z. Now let's say I'm working in a sampler, for example this orchestral library, and I make some changes to the internal mic mix, and I want to undo those changes. If I press Ctrl and Z, it's not going to work, it's just going to undo the stuff I last did in the main project. However, if I hold alternate and press Z, it will undo changes made to the VST instrument. Now, you can also redo those changes by pressing Alt, Shift and Z as well. And it's not just VST instruments this works on. It'll also work on any plugins that you've just made changes in, but mainly Alt Z is what you use in the mixer to undo or redo any changes to any of the parameters in the mix console. So for example here, let's move these faders, let's change some EQ here on these channels and I want to undo all that. I can press alternate and Z to go back a step each time or Alt Shift and Z to redo those steps we've just undone. Now, if this isn't bound to the default keys already in Cubase for you, all you need to do is go over to Edit, then Key Commands. From here, scroll down till you see the Mix Console History folder, and here you'll have your two commands, Undo Mix Console Step and Redo Mix Console Step. If they're not bound to any keys, bind them to whatever you like. It doesn't have to be Alt Z or Alt Shift Z, and to bind them, type in the keystroke in your typing key and just make sure something else isn't already bound to it so you don't override that command. Thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful and I hope you're not too angry at yourself if you've been using Cubase a while and just kind of didn't realise you could do this.